If you haven't been able to tell yet, Pride Month is definitely over. Welcome to Unifier.tv, where truth has no fear. Today, I'm breaking down the situation with Shikari Richardson, the girl uh, out of Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas, who uh, is a future Olympian, in my opinion. Well, our future Olympian has just, well, I can't even say just tested positive for THC. She tested positive for THC right after the event that was going to carry her into the Olympics. Why am I bringing up the timeline here? Because this Olympic run, this uh, historic moment, took place about two or three weeks ago. I'll get the exact date for you. However, why are we just now finding out about the positive THC test? She tested positive right after the event. The event. Now, here we are, July 2nd. I think the story broke July 1st about her positive test because she says she smoked marijuana. We're just now finding out about this. Why do I think this is significant? Because Miss Shikari Richardson identifies with the LGBTQ and, of course, the Juneteenth community. She's very proud of this. And, okay, she could be proud of that as her as her own choice. The point is, if you realize how last month went, pretty much these past two years, but more specifically, last month was both Black Pride Month and Gay Pride Month all rolled into one and it was pushed to the max you had local news networks you had local uh cable networks changing their logos to rainbows to support the community i personally think that's excessive just be who you are if you want to be an activist for the community that's one thing but to show that much a little excessive but that's just me now you have crazy commercials like indeed where indeed ran an ad with the hashtag empathy at work, where they want to cater to uh, trans uh, folks that are trying to get jobs because they say they are kept out of the workplace. I find that to be very false. I have worked with a grand, grandiose number of LGBT and trans people in the workplace, more specifically trans people in the workplace, and they held those jobs down for years and years at a time, longer than anyone else. I don't think trans people are being held out of the workplace uh, so I'm not sure where that's coming from, but it is very ridiculous to me how they're doing more to help trans people find jobs and, and not people that have felony records. But that's a whole nother situation. As I said before, as my friend ABL would say, I well, digress. I digress. So I'm going to back off of that. My focus is the fact that they waited until now to let this story come out about Shikari Richardson. Why is that? Because it would have been an outrage. In the black community, it would have been an outrage in the LGBT community because our people, our person, our representative is being held back from competing in the Olympics. Now, whose fault is that? It's Jakarta Richardson's fault, and she admitted it. I, I apologize as much as I'm disappointed. I know that when I submit a track, I don't represent myself. I represent a community that has shown me great support, great love. And to y'all, I, I feel y'all. And so I apologize for the fact that I didn't know how to control my emotions or deal with my emotions during that time. Um, and to the, and what I would just leave with my fans or I would just leave out there is that, like I tweeted and said yesterday, I'm human, we're human. She said herself that, hey, look, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'm not encouraging any young person out there to do what I did. I knew the rules. I broke the rules. Okay. That's, that's a very grown woman of her. However, if you watch the story uh, from, I believe it was to the Today Show, the anchor was pulling and pulling and pulling and pushing for her to have a, a, a distraught moment, for her to dredge up tears. She wanted her to be down and out and hurt by it, but she was not. She said, I'm 21 years old. I'm young. I'll get back here again, which is, guess, great. She will. She's a future Olympian. However, I think that the black community has their knives and forks out, and the trans community has their knives and forks out right now, ready to, I'm sorry, LGBTQ. They're ready to 
dissect this situation as soon as more people hear about this story. This has nothing to do with black and white. This has nothing to do with LGBTQ or who you decide to date. These are rules. The same thing happened to Michael, Michael Phelps. Uh, and I can't remember the other guy's name. And it happens in the NFL every day. It happens in the NBA every day. There are rules to this. And marijuana is not legal everywhere. And most organizations don't want you to use it um, recreationally. There are rules. So she wasn't targeted. And if you want to have that argument, you, you're losing the argument already. It's not a personal thing. She fessed up to it. My only focus of this video was the fact that the timing, the timing. They're so busy not wanting to hurt the feelings of the pride community and whether you're black pride or gay pride. They're so busy not wanting to hurt the pride of those communities that just actions are not being taken anymore. This is a problem. So, yeah, we'll see what happens to this. She's not completely disqualified. She can actually run in other events, but we'll see how much uh, leeway they let her have. I personally believe that they're going to let most of it go and let her do it based on how they cater to both of those communities, as I mentioned before. Um, not to say she doesn't deserve it, but if you're not willing to bend and break for other uh, races of people and other people who identify as straight, then it should be no difference here either.